Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ray with Windsor Dry Goods. Um, and I just wanted to take a minute to kind of show you around my shop. It's a small shop, not a micro shop, but uh, it definitely has its challenges. So you look around on YouTube, there's a few guys that are really working with some small spaces and doing some great stuff and girls as well. And um, I just kind of wanted you to see my setup uh, in progress and um, how I've come up with solutions to storage and, and things like that. So thanks for taking a look. All right, so basically this is my main workbench here. Um, just two by four with some three quarter inch plywood on top and then a piece of hardboard, tempered hardboard on top of that. Um, that way if it gets screwed up, I can just screw any piece on and it looks halfway decent. Um, these eventually will be going out of here, but right now this is the only spot I got um, to work to store them. So eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna build a little lean-to off the side of the house or side of the um, shed to um, store those. Basically, I'm working with a 16 foot by 11 foot space, so it's definitely small, especially when you're talking about building something with some size. I built our dining room table, which can seat uh, 12. 14 people in this space so it was maxed out um, when it came to finishing but um, basically all my storage and things you know try to be organized as much as I can um, get lo always look at Michael's craft stores so they a lot of times they had these over like a buck a piece so I bought 12 of them and got them stacked in there for a little stuff um, you know tough where it's tough you know, or, or the storage containers, because you kind of build them to that container, and you never know if you're going to be able to find it again. Um, so I've got these, you know, I picked up from Harbor Freight um, before Christmas. I got like 75% off this this stuff, so it it does what it's meant to do. Um, like I said, most of my hand tools, wrenches, pliers, stuff like that, it's all um, on the wall. Um, drill press, my my tools. Uh, especially my power tools, a lot of them are old, but they're beasts and they will outperform uh, anything you buy nowadays. So, um, drill press, she's a beast. You don't definitely don't see many, not just spill my grease, um, many drill presses with a hood. Um, so, I mean, that art, art deco styling is just uh, it's nice to look at too. Wood storage, um, yeah, I've got kind of a little mini loft built in between the regular loft. Um, power tools, I've got my planes, planes there, and then uh, you know everything else is hung up in between the rafters. Vice, I just bought a piece of metal rod, uh, boarded out on each side, and that's where I hang my clamps and pry tools. Um, small step ladder. Somebody threw it away, scabbed a piece of wood on the end, good as new. Shop vac, this is actually, I'm, I'm in the process now, pipe this up today for a central vac system. Um, use an inch and a half pipe. So, you know, I've got one lead going over there that'll handle my drill press and my workbench. Um, and I've got it piped to go over to the other side and drop down, then coming down here and dropping down. My 1951 Delta Milwaukee bandsaw. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. Uh, also, you know, uh, 60s, late 60s, 70s Craftsman joiner, which I got a little Delta scroll saw I don't ever use. Router, which I'm gonna try to integrate into my table saw station type thing. There are a lot nicer builds on YouTube. Guys doing an awesome job with that stuff, so I've got a lot of ideas that I need to implement. This is my lathe station here. Um, I've got all my gouges and turning tools here. Um, just a little place for me to put my sandpaper so I can reach it when I'm finishing. And um, then this is kind of my main work deal. Um, it's just a firestorm table saw piece of uh, half inch ply and then whiteboard material on top but it, it works I'm probably gonna redo this or either get a table saw and build it under this so it folds out and uses that bench as an outfeed 
um, and then make a true, um, really nice workbench. But for now, um, I've got my miter saw. It's just a little seven and a half inch miter saw, but it's on hinges, so it swings out. Um, and actually, if I set this, move this to the center of the room, I mean, it, it works fairly well. I've, I've got no problems um, cutting whatever I need to cut. Um, those two doors, if I need to, I can open them and outfeed out into the yard, but I don't really like doing it because that one on the right paint has to close. Um, track lighting, track lighting, anywhere I could, you know, somebody was throwing away track lights, so I took them and, you know, I like them. They work well. Um, air compressor, I've got a, uh, a 60 gallon air compressor that needs a uh, piston, but then that'll go outside. Um, I'm gonna build a little, build a little shelter for that because that's a 220 compressor and I just don't want it inside because it's too big. So I'll pipe the air in and have little hose connection stations. I'll have a one with a pressure regulator for airbrush work here and a moisture trap. And then I'll probably have another three connections running through the, um, through the wall. So no, that's basically um, what I've got, what I'm dealing with. So leave comments below, like, um, there's a little picture frame I built out of a, a drawer front uh, that was maple and had some cool little wormholes in it. So I needed a frame uh, for a small poster. So I uh, just built that. And um, I do benches, stuff out of reclaimed lumber. Um, definitely not the, uh, the work the high quality work that some people are doing but uh, we're getting there so like subscribe uh, more videos will follow thanks oh yeah there's my entertainment station here I got my iPad that's just hooked up to a little monitor everything's off the um, off of the uh, hanging on the wall somehow so um, and that's where I do all my charging and stuff like that so thanks for watching guys